Hi everybody, uh, Jason and Mice Hunters. Uh, we're over at a customer we're taking care of. Um, we sealed the house already. They've seen some evidence of possibly another entry or um, some mice that might find have uh, gotten in. So we're gonna wind up then going around to be able to take a look, uh, hands and knees around the house to see if anything moved or displaced. So um, let you know what we find out. Uh, we've got a cedar sided home that has a little bit of a flare out at the bottom. We wind up being able to place mash into and around down here. <laughs> be able to seal that area so this is a hands and knees operation to wind up being able to take a look and see what um the mice have been able to get around no, coming, um, where is this ductwork then that has a very open for the beach because he was coming in right. i know they're like really so okay so um, so like if you if you see spider webs things like that nature, then it doesn't show that there's a path of consistency going through. Because if you have a spider web, then there's they're not, they're not traveling through that area. So like certain things can be an indicator of what might wind up being or what's not being. So now it's just keep on going through. Um, definitely wear gloves. Um, I'm not, there's not a sponsor, but I like these gloves of all. They're cut proof. So while well, using my Hands to be able to go around and hit galvanized wire mesh and such. I don't want to be getting cut and pricked and bleeding and such. But uh, every once in a while it does go through, so be careful. So, through looking around the house and such, we wind up then seeing where um, the mice have chewed in through the, the, the between the brick or the stone and also the wood, creating that little jerry hole to be able to get in. Also, right below that hole, there's some mice droppings that are evident here on the ground. I'm gonna wind up then putting some mesh into this area. I'm gonna wind up then reapplying caulk into that area to wind up being able to fortify it. This is how I train it with babe. Making music all the time, video wonder if I got the same best friends. Going onto underneath the cedar siding up to the stone. We're gonna wind up then putting a little bit of pressure onto this so we're not bending it at a 90. Put a little bit of pressure going back so there's a little bit of backwards force to be able to hold it to the stone. Um, and then I'm gonna have to wind up caulking into certain areas and do some custom cutting into certain areas to wind up being able to get this mesh to flow with the brick the way that it winds up going or the stone kind of going. So. Custom work all the time for mice hunters. So mice eat each other. Mice will eat each other to survive. Rats will definitely want to be eating each other to survive. And <clears throat> they're uh, ancestral as well. Um, so it's anything to want to be able to preserve their lifestyle, which is living and eating and you know, making new. Getting across this this mesh here. We're gonna make some custom cuts into where these mortar joints are. Trying to be able to make some relief cuts. Um, we're gonna have to add some more screws in so that the mesh doesn't roll over on itself. When we wind up then putting a little bit of pressure to it, so we're gonna take this. Up. So $800 a year, and the mice still come back. Yes. So unless you wind up been doing the permanent fix, you'll always wind up having mice. So Rose, uh, Terminex? Terminex, Orkin. Orkin. There's, there's some other places. Um, you know, I, and I'm not speaking ill will of anybody. They have their own place to want to be able to do things. We don't do bugs. So and while they're there doing bugs, they might as well treat for mice as well. So. Yeah. But if they don't seal for mice, then they can't wind up then saying that they're going to get rid of them. They just control them, they'll monitor them and say, well, they're coming in here, they're not coming in here, place a little bit of steel wool here. But we found that a lot of, like, some other companies, even some of our competitors, wind up then referring to us to wind up able to seal homes because we've been doing this longest. 
and we use the better quality. And we're always wind up then coming up with new ways to be able to seal homes, to wind up be able to outsmart the mice, because they're always looking for a way to be able to get back in. Just to go over what we did here to for the customer today, um, we showed up, they wound up having some mice that got back in after going doing a seal. Unfortunately, it happens. We went inside, we talked to the customer, saw a location where they were seeing some evidence, came back outside, we wanted to be able to see what happened. Found a couple areas where the mice had chewed around our product, we wanted to be able to then go through the wood siding, which we can't really prevent. If everything is outside here, it's a native prairie, um, you're going to have a lot of mice that are out here. You're going to want to have a lot of other animals and predators and stuff. So the mice are really trying to be able to get into this house, being that it is made of wood. So. Hello. Yes, a little chillier. So uh, went around the house, um, saw a couple spots and such. They got in a couple spaces over here. Um, I don't know if you have time to be able to kind of meet me over the other side and take a look at what I've done. Okay, let me get this uh, yes, definitely. Get away sometime. I said I work too hard not to lose my mind. Head out west, enjoy the sunshine. Work too hard not to go a little crazy.